Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Behind me, we have my 2003 Cape Horn 17 Offshore Center Console. Nothing fancy, but it's a great boat and we love it. I do my best to keep it clean, just like most of you probably do, but unfortunately life gets in the way and I don't clean it as much as I should. My biggest problem is I have to store it at a storage yard. Well, I don't have to, but the storage yard is closer than my property and the wife's parents' house, uh, which is the other option to where it could live. But um, it's far more convenient to just pay to store it closer to my house, especially in the spring and summer when we'll be using it the most. So um, as you'll notice, there is a nasty yellow water line. Uh, I have a brand new product for my Marine series. Actually, there are two of them, one of which is sanding polish, which is uh, essentially when you use it with a wool pad and a rotary, it's essentially like it, it removes the same amount of material as you would if you were sanding with 600 grit sandpaper. So it's really aggressive. Uh, I don't recommend it on automotive finishes. Uh, there are some instances where you could use it by hand, uh, but I don't recommend it for automotive clear. So only use the Marine Series products on, well, Marine products. So what this video about to, is about today is the nasty yellow water line right there on my white gel coated boat and it's not easy to get this off in fact if you just tried soap and water it would not come off um, you can't scrape it off um, I've never polished this boat which I will be doing in a later video but as far as this video goes uh, I've already washed the boat it's clean the very next step is to use the brand new hull brightener from detailjuice.com um this particular product is a sulfuric acid blend my advice to you when using the brand new hull brightener from detailjuice.com because it is a sulfuric acid blend you don't want to get any of that on your hands or in your lungs so i highly recommend having a respirator and rubber gloves when you're dealing with this product so with that said uh, i'm going to go ahead and put these gloves on but the sulfuric acid blend that is hull brightener is incredibly potent at removing yellowing on the water line. It works awesome uh, at the uh, recommended dilution to remove rust from your stainless steel parts, the jewelry on the boat, if you will. Uh, it will remove the rust. Uh, you can also use it on motorcycle rust, uh, all kinds of different stuff. It eats rust for breakfast. And um, it also makes easy, quick and easy work of fish guts, blood, and all that kind of stuff in your gel coat. But for all intents and purposes, I'm going to show you a demo right now of what it does when you mix it up and literally just spray and wipe on the nasty yellow water line. So let me get this put on and get set up, and we'll be right back to give you a demo. All right, my recommendation is always when you're using this stuff, use a towel that you don't care about, that you can discard when you're done. Because what else are you going to do with an acid-soaked microfiber towel? Throw it away. Um, so, first order of business, I've got my wash media that I'm going to use to wipe off the yellowing. i got my respirator, got my gloves. First order of business is, uh, this is a concentrate. You'll mix it 50-50 with water every time you use it. You do not you need to use it at full strength. You should cut it every time because that's the way you're going to get the best benefit from the product and your pocketbook. So anyway, I have one of the, um, the mixing bottles I sell at DetailJuice.com. I have put about 8 ounces of water in it. So it's essentially 50% water right now. And then it's got one of our sprayers. So what I recommend doing... You always want to mix this up. It will separate a little bit, but notice how I'm not shaking it violently. I don't want a bunch of bubbles. So you just shake it easily until it goes back together. Pull the top off. Then you're going to just fill this bottle up. With the product, try not to let it leak everywhere onto your feet. Fill it up to the top, and now we've got a good 50-50 ratio. I'm going to go ahead and set that down on the ground. Actually, put it right there so y'all can keep seeing it. 
Um, the other thing is when I put when I put the um, sprayer in to the bottle, you know this might seem in, 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 in significant, but uh, put the front of that straw in the front there and tuck it at the front of that bottle so that when you're spraying the ho the front of that hose is at the bottom right here and you can get all the juice out if you end up running low so you turn it to spray um i highly recommend that you cover up your galvanized or stainless steel well any any bare metal or galvanized uh trailers is essentially what i'm talking about cover them up because this stuff will turn it cover colors my trailer is galvanized um and it'll discolor it a little bit i don't mind but some of those really nice boat, boat trailers out there the full aluminum ones that are all polished and looking nice you want to cover those up don't get any of this on there so anyway you see right here huge yellow spot so what i'm going to do and the wind's blowing so i'm going to get out of the wind first what i'm going to do is put my respirator on get all excited to do these videos and i end up not doing what i need to do for me all right so respirators on you can't hear me very well but it is what it is and i'm protected you really should wear eyewear too but because the wind's going this way really strong i'm confident that when i spray it it's going to blow that way and not in my face so Just a few sprays, nothing fancy, and I've got it on stream instead of spray. There we go. And so, doesn't really need any dwell time. Water line's gone. See that area in the back that it's all yellow? Couple sprays, give it a second. You see this here? So you saw, I took care of that little piece. I had a little bit that you might not have been able to see behind uh, this uh, guide post, but it's all good now. No yellowing, looks great. Notice this line is almost gone on its own without even, uh, sorry, I was out of the uh, frame there. But you notice the rest of that yellow is fading fast. And that's it guys i mean it's not complicated uh the only real thing to pay attention to is your health using this product now um as long as you're responsible it's totally fine no issues whatever uh, so as long as you're wearing gloves a respirator and some glasses you'll never have an issue be careful follow the directions and you're good to go um but this is some really heavy duty awesome stuff guys it can be used on now i would not use this on super fancy wheels that are not caked super bad you ha only use this on super bad factory wheels or older wheels you don't care about um you never want to go into using an acid when you don't have to use an acid. So if you absolutely can't get the brake dust off the wheels with anything else, then you reach for this. But this right here will make quick work of caked on brake dust, uh, rust, um, water line yellowing, blood, guts, all kinds of stuff from fish and whatever other random stains you might have. This stuff is awesome. In fact, you could do a once per season acid wash. A lot of detailers will do an acid, acid wash on the boat. Um, 
I don't do a lot of acid washes. I will remove the yellowing from the water line, but then I'll polish after that. And so for me, I don't really feel the need to acid wash everything, but you totally could if you want to. Literally, you could go bow to stern, top to bottom, all of that once a season for an acid wash, then clean it normally and polish it if you have to, uh, or put on your protection. But the uh, acid is actually gonna just remove all the gunk from the gel coat that you don't want there, uh, that prevents it from looking its best. So uh, that has been the brand new hull brightener from the Marine Series at DetailJuice.com. If you guys have any questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. I'll help you however I can. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos and to listen to me babble. Um, as most of you guys know, I am an avid boater, so these Marine Series products are very important to me. All my products are very important to me, but I would say that if I had a passion for one type of detailing over another, it would be marine detailing all day is my absolute favorite to do. Um, cars are awesome too, have no problem with that, but I'm an avid boater. I love to boat beyond the water, on, at, in the water. It's kind of my thing. So um, if you got questions for me, use the cell phone number. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. It's a great way to get in there and learn about my products before you ever have to purchase them. Uh, there's plenty of people in there who can give you all kinds of information if you don't want to hear the information from the horse's mouth. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you. And uh, either comment below, reach out to me if you need me, or uh, keep watching. Thanks guys. Have a great day.